I'm Diane Burgess, Professor of Pharmaceutics and Board of Trustees Distinguished Professor here at the University of Connecticut. In this lab, we are working to develop a totally implantable biosensor to monitor glucose for diabetic patients. This device can be used in two fashions. Uh, fashion number one, it can be interfaced with an insulin uh, pump. And basically, if you need uh, insulin, if your glucose uh, concentration comes up, then you inject insulin. That is one thing, and this will be ideal for type 1 diabetics. But for type 2 diabetics, which the majority of, uh, of the people uh, suffering from diabetes, it, it turns out that certain foods certain concentration of foods, certain um, habits exacerbate the uh, diabetic excursion to hyper and hypoglycemia. If this device alert and educate them not to do those things, to avoid those bad habits, effectively the people don't have the problem, so they don't need to take the drugs. When we went about developing this, firstly we wanted to make the device very small to minimize the damage to the tissue and to do that um, Professor Jane worked on miniaturizing everything down onto a silicon chip. He also has worked on the wireless communication of our device so there's no external leads. What we are doing is we have facilities to or we have expertise to develop the whole system architecture of a sensing process that includes powering a, a sensor, getting the signal from it, interfacing it, and then passing it on to the uh, output device. Once that structure is integrated together, then the chip goes to Professor uh, Papa Dimitrokopoulos' lab, where his students put various uh, semi-permeable and permeable membranes where glucose oxidase or other enzymes and other chemicals are uh, encased in, proper, in these coatings. And once they are satisfied, then the whole thing is given to Professor Burgess's lab. And uh, she does, she put a biocompatible coating on this whole platform. And now it is ready for testing and, and implantation. Myself, um, Professor Papa Dimitrokopoulos and Professor Jane have been working on this project in excess of 10 years now, but we're getting very close to bringing this device to market. We are at the preclinical testing stage right now and hope to go into clinical testing in two to three years with an entry into the market predicted of maybe four to seven years. So this is very, very exciting. In my opinion, this device, uh, it will be uh, the dream come true for diabetics. The ultimate goal is to avoid the injection of drugs uh, to our bodies. Uh, our bodies contains everything. Simply we have to interface with our body and effectively ask our body what is good for you and we'll do that.